Hey guys, Mr. Brighting here. I'm um, going to be talking about uh, forces acting during acceleration. This is the first lecture for the work and gravity unit. So there's a few things that I need to um, put up here for you guys before we even go into the details. So first of all, um, we need to know Newton's three laws of motion. So the first one is objects at rest stay at rest objects in motion and objects in motion stay in motion unless acted on by an unbalanced force. Okay, that unbalanced is a big, big piece. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit more about balanced, unbalanced forces here. Um, second one, F equals MA. Okay, when we do get a force, we get acceleration and that acceleration is proportional to the mass okay um, so again this is saying force causes acceleration force does not cause velocity force causes acceleration and then the third law um, we're not going to be using this one too much but for every uh, why is it not typing that equal and opposite force, okay? All right, so we're gonna keep those on the side there. One, two, and three. And we're gonna keep those there because if we are not thinking about them, um, a lot of this stuff will be really pretty darn confusing. Um, so first of all, what this this thing is saying here, this physics talk, it's saying that if I have a force upward, okay, and a force downward, usually our force downward is due to gravity, and then the force upward is what we call a normal force. Um, that's the one that we actually feel. So we actually have a lady down here. Here we go, so I don't have to draw it out. Um, and this lady, she's sitting in a chair. And they're in the chair, the chair is providing a force upward of 600 newtons, and then gravity's pulling her down with 600 newtons. And because she started at rest, this means that she will have, she will continue to be at rest, according to Newton's first law of motion. Objects in motion stay in motion, and objects at rest will stay at rest. So, as long as there is a balanced force, this lady will just keep on doing what she's doing, okay? Now, at the same time, if she actually were moving up like in an elevator or in a roller coaster and her velocity was already moving upward, let's say her velocity is already 10 meters per second upward, All right, meters per second, 10 meters per second. So her velocity is already 10 upward, but there's still a balanced force. So a lot of people would think, okay, well, she'll stop because it's a balanced force. Well, we have to go back to Newton's first law of motion, which says an object in motion stays in motion unless acted on by an unbalanced force. Well, it's not being acted on by an unbalanced force. So it is considered an object in motion stays in motion. So this velocity does not change, okay? So <clears throat> elevators um, are built off of this concept. We build roller coasters based off of this concept. And a lot of your word problems are going to assume that you know this, okay? Um, <clears throat> So that's actually, you know, that, that's pretty much it for this video because I think that is such a big concept um, that if you have a balanced force and something is already moving upward, then it will continue to move upward at the 
same rate. At the same time, if this woman were just sitting in a chair and not moving upward or downward, then she would continue to not move upward or downward, okay? Because the forces are balanced, all right? Newton's second law we're going to talk about in the next video.